Live, this is 24-Hour News 8. She has sat quietly in the courtroom, occasionally showing emotion as police and prosecutors have described her as a predator. But today, a former Grand Rapids Catholic Central School tutor accused of sexually assaulting a 15-year-old student of hers took the stand in her own defense. And 24-Hour News 8's Ken Kolker kept us updated on Twitter during the testimony today. And Ken's live outside of the courthouse with more tonight. Ken? Yeah, Brian and Sue, the tutor spent the afternoon on the witness stand trying to convince the jury that the wrong person was on trial, that it was the student who was actually the rapist. Did you see him in the courtroom when you were testifying earlier? Yes. Are you still scared of him today? Today, the tutor accused the student who was then 15 of raping her in her own bed. And it just like broke me. <laughs> Did you cry? Simon testified she had picked up her student in March 2013 from the hospital where his sister was in a coma and that she had to push him away later at her apartment. Why did you tell Detective Lowry that you didn't have sex? With because I didn't. Can you elaborate to the jury what that means? I didn't engage in sex with him. Well, what happened? He forced me to have sex with him. Was it against your will? Yes. Did you tell him no? Yes. Did that stop him? No. She says it wasn't like this when she started tutoring him in the fall of 2012. So, so respectful. Very nice. But he started showing her more attention, she said, texting her, following her. Then one day she said he complained that she was paying too much attention to other students. So I said that it was a slap in my face for him th saying that. And then he slapped me in the face and said, no, that's a slap in the face. She said the teen started going through her cell phone, invading her space, and that she was afraid of him. I was sick of feeling like being owned by someone. I was sick of being scared of him. I felt like I always had to answer to everything. I mean, I didn't even, it literally felt like it was, I had a cloud over my, I don't even know. Now the tutor is expected to return to the witness stand Monday morning for some more questioning by her attorney, and then the um, prosecutor will get her chance to cross-examine. Live in Grand Rapids, Ken Colker, 24 Hour News 8. Ken, during any of that testimony today, did they ever get into the text that she was exchanging with this young man, allegedly, that seemed to indicate that she was just as involved and, and just as uh, kind of in puppy love? They did get into some of the texts. There were some texts she said that he actually had the phone and was texting, like when they were um, apparently in Chicago or headed back from Chicago, talk, um, basically he was, she was blaming him for sending at least that text. Now I'm sure the prosecutor will get more into those texts on Monday. Ken, what, quickly, what success have they had in, in kind of muddying everything that we've heard so far? Boy, that's that's really hard to tell. I mean, there's a lot for the jury to, to weigh here. Um, I mean, that's their goal is to, you know, their goal is to have the the jury spending the weekend with reasonable doubt. Right. Ken Kolker reporting live for us tonight. Thank you, Ken.